Accommodative uh, esotropia. Can you talk about that a little bit? And give uh, us some examples. Yes, accommodative esotropia is a form of strabismus which is commonly seen in children and it usually shows itself from about two to four years of age. It can happen at, a, at an older age and it can sometimes happen at a younger age. In a comedy of esotropia, the child will present with usually one eye turning in uh, and this is usually the more farsighted eye. When we check this child and dilate the eyes, we find that the child usually has farsightedness. If we put the appropriate glasses on the child, the actual eye turn will, will go away. Um, Often enough, um, these conditions are sometimes worse at near than they are at distance. If the child's turn is alleviated by the actual glasses at distance, but he still has a residual turn at near, we then will add a bifocal to the child's eye glasses to stop their eye turning in uh, at near when they look close. Um, accommodative esotropia is seen because a child's eye, when they focus at near, or focus sometimes even at all, there's a reflex which coordinates the actual eye movements with the amount of focusing that they have to do. So when you look close at an object, your eyes normally converge. Uh, in a child who has accommodative esotropia, they converge too much. So by treating them with the appropriate eyeglasses, we can usually eliminate the turn. During the period of development of the child's vision, if we can align the eyes properly by glasses, sometimes these conditions will actually go away as the child gets older. And in that case, we've actually preserved the child's visual acuity because he hasn't developed an amblyopia because the eyes are straight. And we've al also sometimes preserved the child's fusion and depth perception because we've aligned the eyes simply by using glasses. You, do, you use the word amblyopia. You, you and I know what it means. Can you explain it to well, somebody? Well, amblyopia is a lazy eye. It's an eye that does not see properly because it's either there's either an imbalance in the prescription of the eye or there's a misalignment of the eye or something is blocking the vision of the eye. In this child's case, an amblyopia would develop in the eye that's turned inward because it's not lined up with the other eye. If we put the glasses on the child and line the eyes up, the brain will not, deter will not develop this adaptive mechanism where the vision goes down, and we can preserve the child's vision. So amblyopia can be prevented simply by using the appropriate glasses. Sometimes do you end up with surgery? Well, if a child is given glasses and there is still a significant amount of residual turn in a child who has an accommodative esotropia, we will sometimes operate on the child to get their eyes straight while the glasses are on. We don't try and eliminate the turn completely because the child can actually outgrow the amount of turn that the glasses take care of. So yes, there's some kids who will need the surgery even though the glasses do help them.